Today's topic is domestic abuse. How does, how common is domestic abuse in Royal Ebony's households? And why is it that when males are abused, we don't hear about it, but all we hear is about when the Ebony women are abused and, and all together is a, is a, it's a situation that we need to discuss. And it's very common in the households and our people. And we want to know from you, um, I know you have your own testimony about it, but why is it that we try to keep domestic violence a secret, opposed of exposing the situation and getting help? Uh, because we are taught that, you know, what's, what's happening in this household stays in this household. You True. know, and there's no True. growth in that. My thing mm -hmm. about it, we when there's a weed in your yard, you got to pluck it out. You can't mow over it because all you did was scatter the weed to create more weeds. True. You know what I'm saying? So what you got to do is you got to pluck it out of your system. I don't care if it's your brother. I don't care if it's your son. I don't care if it's your daughter, you know, because they can breed predators too. You know, I don't mm -hmm. care if you sitting up there as your mom. If it's your aunt, if it's just a babysitter or whatever, we have to learn to listen to our children. We have to learn to listen to our siblings, you know, even when they're not speaking, the cry out for help, all that. We have to learn to do that. We need to, it's funny to me, and it's always been funny to me when you have, you meet other, you know, Nubian people from around mm -hmm. the world. And our parents always said the same thing. You know, you leave the door open. What you trying to cool off the whole block? You know, right. all these things are taught. 